Ruby's ready. We just adjusted these knobs right here to see if it'll throw a bit higher. Well, well you gotta go get the ball. Alright, well, since it throws it up. Oh. See how this one throws. Oh, so that pops it up way higher. All right, cool, cool, cool. So you turn this thing counterclockwise to raise the trajectory. I, sh I guess you could say, yeah, it'd be the trajectory. Ruby, give me the ball. Oh shoot. I think we forgot treats. Can't forget treats, can we, Ruby? Alright, be right back. Oh, you gotta give me the ball. Good girl. <coughs> She's so vocal, isn't she? Good girl, good girl. Yes. Let's see if we can start working on getting her to actually drop it in the machine. I guess I can keep the tree jar open. Give me the ball. Nope, you gotta give me the ball. Give me the ball. Ruby, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Oh, that, that's good. That was close. That was real close. Good girl, Ruby. So noisy. See that bee? I mean, she was in the way. Alright, let's see if we can get her to drop it again. Oh. I don't know why I'm coming back here to get it. Alright. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Kirby, give me the ball. No, you gotta give me the ball. You gotta go get the ball. So I got a treat in the palm. Oh! the ball. Ruby. Oh, that's so close. So close. Ah. Oh. Okay, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Oh. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Yay! Oh, I thought she had it. I thought she had it that ah. time. I thought she dropped it in. I was like, yeah! <laughs> like I said, this is like the third time. Well, the other two times, we wasn't really teaching her to use it. It was like getting her used to the machine. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Oh, oh. Give me the ball. Give me the ball! Oh, I'll well, give it to her. See? Drop it in there like that. <laughs> well, otherwise, well, Ruby seems to like it a lot, though. Ruby, give me the ball. You gotta, you gotta give me the ball. You gotta give me the ball. Give me the ball. Oh, good girl, good girl. She's so close. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> give me the ball, Ruby. Give me the ball, Ruby. 
me? You gotta give me the ball. You can't have the treat in hand until you give me the ball. <coughs> Ruby. <coughs> Get the ball. Yes. Come on. Give me the ball. Oh. Actually, I probably shouldn't give her the treat until after the ball is <coughs> in the middle. Switch that up. I'm like most people, or at least most guys, we don't read instructions. <laughs> I do, however, ask for directions because I hate waste. So drive around aimlessly, not knowing where you're going, is just waste. So. Come here. Stop. Oh. I go back there and get it. I said, make you go get it. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Get, get the ball. Oh, oh. Give me the ball. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I know that was probably more of a help. She might have actually gotten that one in on her own. Hey. I kind of like it when it throws it up a little bit further. That's actually pretty cool. But when you got it a uh, higher trajectory, you can't put more than one ball in there. Because we put in two balls. Ruby, go get the other ball. Ruby, go get the other ball. Yes, good girl. Come on, Ruby. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Oh, actually, we were going to demonstrate. See, this is two balls. See, now watch this. See, the higher trajectory will spit that other ball out. That this she gets out of the way. <laughs> oh, it didn't shoot that other, but it jacks with that one, so. I advise if you got the high trajectory, if you got the set on a pretty high trajectory, I advise you to put one ball in at a time. Good girl, yes. Good girl, good girl. All right, give me the ball. Yeah, give me the ball. Jostle the treater in my hand. Give me the ball. I got the treat right there. Oh, nope. Don't get the ball. Good girl. Good girl. Give me the ball. Oh, give me the ball. Ruby. Give me the ball. Oh, oh that was close. That went behind there. Alright, that's the reason why I brought out two balls to have a backup. <laughs> good girl, good girl. Get the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Oh, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Oh, so close. Ruby, give me the ball. Yes, yes. Yay, good girl. I know, as an assist by me, but still, small victories. I'm starting to shoot over that way pretty good. Just rename it. I realize that if you got it on a hard, flat surface, it does tend to move around quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit, but a little bit. Um, I, you know, I want to give Ruby just small little treats like this, you know, about the size of a kibble. You know. Ruby. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Ruby. Yes. Good girl. 
It's gonna be a really, it'd be a really cool design. Ah! That it, if it would, they would add like a treat dispenser. Anytime that they drop the ball in there, they get a treat. Now that would be a nice little additional feature to this thing. You know, you know, pet safe. You know, if you're listening, I doubt it. Well, at least not it right now. Still working on the uh, building up the subscribers. Oh, I bet that sounded weird. Still working on building up the subscribers to the YouTube channel. You know, so please show Ruby some love and some support. Show support for teaching methods that do not involve choke chains, pinch collars, or shot collars. Oh, this is the second time of teaching Ruby of actually putting it, trying to put it in. Ruby. Yes, good girl, good girl, good girl. Well, let's see, second session of this machine, like I said, it shuts off after like five minutes of play, or five, ten minutes of play, something like that. So, this is pretty cool. Ruby, come on. Oh, you missed. You gotta give me the ball. You missed again. You gotta give me the ball. See, I'm doing the same thing with the uh, pepperoni. I got, I got the treat right there in my hand. Fold it right on over. Ruby, get the tennis ball. Get the tennis ball. Yes, good girl. Yeah, oh, good girl. Good girl. So I'll give her two little ones once she drops it in there on her own. So. This thing will probably be shutting off here pretty soon. Ruby, come on. Give me the tennis ball. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Like I said, it's so important. It's so important to use your verbal markers, positive and your negative markers. Oh, I thought she was going to drop it in right off the back there. Oh, that would have been so awesome. Oh, little turd. Give me the ball. Oh, you missed. Yes, good girl. It's important that you say the verbal. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> it's so important to use your positive markers and your negative markers at the appropriate times. It's, uh, it's called uh, behavior capturing, I believe. I think that's the scientific name for it. Ruby, in the ball. Oh, yes, good girl. Yeah. I'm getting two hands all slimy. <laughs> this machine will probably be shutting up <laughs> pretty soon because we've been. This is our second full session <laughs> of working with this machine in Ruby. Oh, why did it stop there? Uh, Get me a drink of water. Ruby. Go get your tennis ball. It's out there. Go get a tennis ball. Go get a tennis ball. Yes! Good girl. So as soon as she touches the tennis ball, I say yes. Oh, you missed. Get it, give me get give me the tennis ball. Oh, you missed again. Give me the tennis ball. Oh, you missed again. 
Can you give me the tennis ball? Yay! Yes! I think it might have shut down or Ruby just stopped it. Because these machines, or at least this one does, it stops after like 10 15 minutes of play. So, yep, I think it stopped. Oh, this is a pretty cool little machine. Well, this is going to end the uh, second training session. So, please like, subscribe, show Ruby some love and some support. 